What are 15 dumb mistakes that tourists make while visiting Las Vegas? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about it all, so let's get right to it here on Jaycation. The Jaywalkers going across Las Vegas Boulevard. There are plenty of them. I saw them here on New Year's Eve. Some guy was playing soccer, kicking a soccer ball across this intersection right in front of me. But I also saw a couple running across the forum shops over towards Harrah's the other day. There's reasons why there's barricades here. There's reasons why there's center strips that have barricades they have the bridges all around the strip don't jaywalk believe me you're either gonna get ran over or somebody else is gonna you don't want that to happen see that big Las Vegas no-no right there guys crossing Las Vegas Boulevard look at these three ladies what are they doing super clueless don't do that you'll get ran over your next dumb tourist mistake happens in your hotel room and that is purchasing stuff from the mini bar. Check this out. There are gummy bears and cashews right here. Well, Vidara gives you this little tablet to tell you how much it is. $21.75 for that bag of cashews. And the gummies are $16.75. Holy moly. Those two bottles of Fiji water cost you $16.75 each. Yo, no thank you. And if you look into the refrigerator, they do have the drinks here as well. A Heineken is $14.75. You can get that for two bucks downstairs somewhere. If you want some absolute vodka, $21.75. Red wine is $65.75. When you open up the refrigerator, there's also a lover's kit. You guys know what that is. $55 for the lover's kit. That ain't no joke. How do you solve this dumb tourist mistake? Just go to CVS. CVS is right next to city center and between the park MGM. Go there, grab what you need. They even have a lover's kit there. These prices, dumbest tourist mistake ever. Hey, lover's kit. That might prevent you from making a mistake. So $55 if it's an emergency. <laughs> The next dumb tourist mistake happens with your alcohol consumption and the big ass yardsticks that they have. You've seen me drink the Excalibur Sword in a Stone in the past. I halved it with the homie Dan vs. World, but some of them are just freaking huge. They're like half your height. A person shouldn't be drinking that much alcohol and that much sugar. That's only gonna make you crash and then you won't enjoy the rest of your trip and you're gonna be that drunk on the strip. Nobody wants to be around. If you see right behind me, they have that leg yardstick and then they have the bigger ones that are freaking huge. You put it around your neck, you can add extra shots, whether it's Fat Tuesdays or Cabo Wabo or I Love Daiquiri, any of the other yardstick places all around the Las Vegas Strip. Just be careful. I'm not saying don't get them. Just don't get the ones that are too huge. And if you are gonna get the big ones, make sure you're sharing it with three or four people and staying sanitary. That famous leg that I wanted to get with the uh, fishnet stockings, it's $53. The bigger one is actually cheaper because it's, uh, it's only $42, but the reason why it's cheaper is because it's not decorative like the fishnet stocking one. Well, now I have a guest with me, another YouTuber. You haven't seen him on the channel before. What up? It's George from yeah. Vegas. Must try. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, my brother? I'm gonna have him talk about three dumb tourist mistakes here in Las Vegas. Take it away, brother. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so for the first mistake that tourists do when they come to Las Vegas is go balls to the walls really early. And what I mean by that is they get plastered on. Like, let's say they get here on a Friday, they get completely belligerent drunk, and then they ruin the rest of their vacation. So Saturday, they're hungover, they miss on reservations, they miss on shows, and all around, they had a really bad time. So make Make sure to pace yourself when you come to Las Vegas because this is a party city but you also got to party the rest of the trip. So the next dumb mistake that tourists do when they come to Las Vegas is not bring enough cash. With small denominations and large denominations, you're going to need the small for tips and stuff like that and you're going to need the large denominations for gambling because the ATMs here are a complete ripoff. They charge anywhere from 10 to like 12 even $15. Not to mention the fees that your bank puts on your cart for not using an ATM for from their bank. So if you want to go to like Chase or Wells, Wells Fargo or something outside of this trip, it's going to cost you a lot of money and time. So make sure to bring enough cash with you, keep it with you and in your room, but do not use these ATMs because there are a ripoff. I said 20 bucks. Look at that. $9.99. My $20 withdrawal turned into 
down to $30. That's, that's wild. So for the next dumb tourist mistake here in Las Vegas is taking a picture with the showgirls before talking to them first. So you have to set a price on what the tip is going to be. It's not going to be $1. It's not going to be $5. They're going to charge you somewhere up to like $20 up to $40. So make sure that when you see them, they don't lure you in and tell you, oh, it's all fine. Take a picture with us because then they're going to demand and they're going to cost a scene. So be on the lookout for that. And the same thing goes for all the characters like Spongebob, Mickey Mouse, the Transformers. They will lure you in and then when it's too late, they're going to cost a scene if you don't give them a tip. Thanks, George, for the, all, all the tips, man. Hell yeah, my brother. Make sure you follow his channel. I'm going to link it down below. And yeah, man, I'll see you next time, bro. Hi, right, brother. Stay Hi, warm. dude. Yeah, man, it's cold. 39 degrees right now. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's so, walk it. Later, bro. Shout out to George at Vegas Must Try for dishing out three of the dumb mistakes tourists make when in Vegas. Now to tack on to his whole, you know, don't blow your load from the get-go, the next mistakes have to do with gambling. A lot of people like to come to Vegas right off the bat and put all their money on black and just let it ride. And you know, that's 50-50. It's either black or it's either red. But you never know. You could get lucky, like the lucky Buddha would say, or you could lose and then you don't have money the rest of your trip. So don't put all your money on black. Be a little smarter than that. On blackjack, a lot of people play six to five blackjack. That's all you're pretty much gonna find here on the strip. But if you go downtown, there's places like Binion's, the Downtown Grand, and El Cortez that have better odds on blackjack and single deck blackjack. So make sure you check that out. As a blackjack player myself, you also wanna feel out tables, right? So if you are playing here on the strip, you're already at a disadvantage at six to five odds tables. You wanna play at a table where players know how to play the game, right? People don't stay at 15 or 14 with a 20 showing or a face card showing. You want to take a few minutes and wash a few hands and see if the players are playing the game right for the most part. Not everyone's going to play by the book, right? But if you get a good table, there's a better chance of you winning. The next dumb tourist mistake is a simple one, and that's not getting enough sleep while you're here in Vegas. Now, I understand you want to party, you want to do your late night gambling, and just walk the strip till the wee hours of the morning, but that doesn't mean you can't get sleep during the day, so you could nap during the day, even if it's just for an hour, even a half hour. For me, when I was young and spry, I know all you young 21 year olds, 25 year olds, you guys have all the energy and you could probably come to Vegas for a weekend turn and burn and only have maybe three or four hours of sleep, maybe even less than that. Maybe you stay up the whole time. But when you're in your later 30s, like your boy Jay Cation, you gotta have your sleep. Because not getting enough sleep, your body will shut down, you might get sick, you won't have enough energy to work out. It's just not the best thing. Sleep is the best thing you can do for your body. People in Vegas don't get enough sleep. Good night, guys. I'm gonna take a little nap here. The next dumb tourist mistake would be not to take advantage of the free trams around the Las Vegas Strip. Right now, I was on the Aria Express. Takes you from Bellagio to the Crystal Shops at Aria to Park MGM. There is also a tram at Mirage to Treasure Island and back. And then Excalibur, Luxor, and Mandalay Bay have an express tram. Those are all free. You also got the Las Vegas monorail, but you have to pay for that. The reason why I say it's a dumb tourist mistake is because in the summer, when it gets up to 115, 116 degrees here, you're gonna wanna conserve energy. You don't wanna die of dehydration and die from your walk from one point to the other. So just make sure you make use and are aware of these free trams. And also during the winter, when it gets cold like this and it's windy, you don't wanna get sick on the Las Vegas Strip. You don't wanna get a cold or something even worse. Make use of the trams. The next dumb tourist mistake is not knowing that parking on the Las Vegas Strip and downtown isn't free. Now, there are a few hotels that do offer free parking for guests, like the Downtown Grand over near Fremont Street, but most places charge upwards to $18 to $25 per night. There's one big way for you to elude this, and that would be to get your second tier on a MGM Rewards card or Caesars Rewards. The easiest way is to get the MGM Rewards MasterCard. It's free, no initiation fee, no sign-up costs or anything. If you got that credit card, you get the second tier for life, which is Pearl. Sign up for that MasterCard, and you get free parking at any MGM property around the Strip. 
And then also know that Venetian and Palazzo win Encore have free parking. Oh, and not to mention Treasure Island also has free parking. Another dumb tourist mistake that tourists make here in Las Vegas is going to their hotel convenience stores and overpaying for alcohol or toiletries or even just regular drinks and water. If you just go outside your casino, you'll probably find a Walgreens, a CVS, an ABC stores, or even the Target here. If you want to save money, this ABC stores, they're all over the place, but here in Planet Hollywood, this one's open until 12 midnight, and you can get waters, two for two dollars, some drinks for cheaper than at your hotel convenience store. This CVS pharmacy is the one I've been talking about. It may not be as cheap as, per se, Walmart or Avon's, but if you don't have a car, this is your best option. Don't go to the hotel convenience stores. And then look, right across the street, you got Walgreens and the Target here on the strip is right there as well. These VGK snapbacks are so sick and this trucker hat too and I got this beanie. Your next dumb tourist mistake would be not to make reservations at nice restaurants here in Las Vegas. Even casual restaurants you might want to make reservations at. So places like Bavette's which is an amazing steakhouse. I ate here at the 4th of July about a year ago before a Bruno concert. They only take reservations. If you don't do reservations and you want to have a nice dinner you might miss out especially on busy weekends. So make sure you make those reservations about a month before you leave just to ensure you have a spot to sit. Places like La Pizza y La Pasta, for example, if you haven't seen my video, check it down below. You need reservations on the weekends. On weekdays, it's a lot easier to walk in. I'm not gonna say every place is packed, but most likely if you're a tourist, you're coming here on a weekend or a holiday weekend, and it's super busy, reservations really, really help out. The next dumb tourist mistake has to do with walking the wrong parts of Las Vegas at night. Pretty much on the Las Vegas Strip, you're good, right? As long as you're not going into any back alleys, but you still need to watch yourself and I have pepper spray. There are parts of like this road right here. If you go east more up Harmon towards the Virgin Hotels, you definitely don't want to walk from like Planet Hollywood to there at night. It gets a little sketchy around that area. The Las Vegas Strip, Las Vegas Boulevard, after Circus Circus or even after Resorts World, all the way past Strat before you hit the Arts District, it's pretty sketchy there. They call the area Naked City and there are some ghetto neighborhoods over there. We've heard of stabbings, murders, and all this bad stuff happening there in the past. So you want to avoid walking from the Strip to Fremont Street. Sleepless in Las Vegas, he does it. He's a big guy, so he knows what he's doing. But at the same time, I wouldn't per se walk from the Strip to Fremont Street. He'll do it, but not me. Yeah, just watch out. Dumb tourist mistakes. You don't want to end up getting hurt or even killed, maybe. I didn't even talk about Fremont Street. The further east you go, if you go past Fremont Street East, past Container Park, maybe like three blocks past it, you don't want to go there like after nine o'clock at night. You don't want to be walking that far east. Make sure you're staying around Fremont Street, even around that area. Be careful because there's small alleyways. There are mentally unstable people around the area of Fremont Street and downtown Las Vegas. So just be aware over there and don't make that dumb mistake and turning the wrong corner. The next dumb tourist mistake happens here at the airport going through TSA. You gotta listen to TSA. If they tell you to do something, be attentive and do it. Don't give them attitude. They're just trying to get you through the line as well. Try to listen what's allowed and what's not allowed so that in advance, you're not surprised when you go through TSA. Because there's one too many times people are either just wanting to look for confrontation or even just not paying attention and they're lollygagging and you're just slowing everyone down, including you. And it might even cause you to miss your flight. So be respectful to TSA. They're trying to get you to your destination destination trying to get you out of here so believe me they want to get you through this line as fast as possible so just listen to them there's my baby v hudge please subscribe to my channel we're almost to 100k please like the video it really helps distribute it throughout youtube check out las vegas 77 let's go it's my facebook group that talks about the newest news attractions and activities going on around vegas and there's almost 2,000 members on the 777 let's go facebook page all right educationers we'll see you in the next video until the next one stay traveling Las Vegas let's go